Today, we have an intriguing topic to explore, one that might challenge some of your preconceived notions about healthy foods. You see, in our journey to embrace a nutritious diet, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing that any food labeled healthy is automatically good for us. But the reality is far more nuanced, and our choices can have a significant impact on our health and well being. We live in a world inundated with information about superfoods, fad diets, and the latest health trends. Yet, the path to true health isn't always as straightforward as it seems. It's crucial to equip ourselves with the knowledge to separate fact from fiction, to distinguish between genuinely beneficial foods and those that might not align with our health goals. So, without further ado, let's uncover the truth about these seemingly healthy foods and take a step closer to a healthier, more informed, and vibrant you. Our first contender is dried fruits. They are often marketed as a convenient and healthy snack, but it's essential to be aware of their high sugar content. Many dried fruits are treated with added sugars, which can lead to blood sugar spikes, weight gain, and dental issues. To make matters worse, dried fruits are calorie dense, which means it's easy to overconsume them. If you're watching your weight or managing diabetes, it's crucial to consume them in moderation. Remember, dried fruits can be a part of a healthy diet, but be mindful of portion sizes and opt for unsweetened varieties. Now, Let's talk about fruit juices. Many people believe that drinking fruit juice is equivalent to eating whole fruits, but that's not entirely accurate. Fruit juices, even if they're 100% natural, can be packed with sugar. When the fiber is removed during the juicing process, you're left with a concentrated source of sugar that can lead to insulin spikes and weight gain. I recommend choosing whole fruits over fruit juices. They contain fiber, which helps regulate the absorption of sugars and keeps you feeling full for longer. So, while fruit juices may seem like a healthy choice, they can often have adverse effects on your health when consumed in excess. Next up, we have granola bars, a popular on-the-go snack. They are often marketed as a healthy choice, but the reality can be quite different. Many store-bought granola bars are loaded with added sugars, preservatives, and unhealthy fats. It's essential to carefully read the ingredient list to avoid hidden sugars and artificial additives. If you enjoy granola bars, Consider making your own at home using wholesome ingredients like oats, nuts, and seeds. This way, you have control over what goes into your snack. Opting for homemade or healthier store-bought options can ensure that granola bars genuinely support your health. Moving on to trail mix, another snack that often falls under the healthy category. Trail mix typically combines nuts, seeds, and dried fruits, which individually are nutritious. However, the combination may not always be as healthy as it seems. Trail mix can be calorie dense and easy to overconsume, leading to excessive calorie intake. Plus, some store bought varieties add chocolate, sugary yogurt covered raisins, or salty components that can detract from the healthiness. If you love trail mix, consider making your own with a balance of unsalted nuts, seeds, and a limited amount of dried fruits. This way, you have better control over portion sizes and ingredients. Our next item, agave nectar, has gained popularity as a natural sweetener in recent years. While it's marketed as a healthier alternative to sugar, it's important to be aware of its drawbacks. Agave nectar is primarily composed of fructose, which can lead to insulin resistance, weight gain, and other health issues when consumed in excess. Moderation is key. If you use agave nectar, use it sparingly. It's essential to remember that, like other sweeteners, it should be part of a balanced diet. The next topic may come as a surprise to some, gluten-free products. For individuals with celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, gluten-free products are a lifesaver. However, for the general population, they might not always be the best choice. Many gluten-free products are highly processed and may contain more sugars, unhealthy fats, and additives to make up for the lack of gluten. So, they might not be as healthy as you think. If you don't have a medical reason to avoid gluten, whole grains like whole wheat bread can be a healthier option, providing more fiber and nutrients. In summary, it's crucial to choose gluten-free products for the right reasons and be mindful of their nutritional content. Now, let's talk about smoothies. They've become a trendy and convenient way to consume fruits and vegetables, but there's a caveat. Smoothies can be a healthy choice when prepared mindfully, but they can also turn into sugar bombs if you're not careful. Adding excessive amounts of fruit, sweeteners, and high-calorie ingredients can lead to an unhealthy drink. Opt for smoothies that include a balance of fruits, vegetables, and a source of protein, like Greek yogurt or protein powder. This way, you get the benefits without the sugar overload. 
So, enjoy your smoothies, but be cautious about their ingredients to ensure they truly support your health. Next up we have rice cakes, often promoted as a low-calorie and healthy snack. While they can be a better choice than some other snacks, it's essential to be aware of their nutritional value. Rice cakes are primarily made from refined rice, which means they lack the fiber and nutrients found in whole grains. They can also be quite high on the glycemic index, leading to quick spikes in blood sugar. If you enjoy rice cakes, consider topping them with nutrient-rich spreads like almond butter, hummus, or avocado to enhance their nutritional value. In conclusion, rice cakes can be part of a balanced diet, but it's crucial to use them as a base for healthier toppings. Coconut oil Coconut oil has been hailed as a superfood with numerous health benefits. While it's true that coconut oil contains medium-chain triglycerides, MCTs, that can be metabolized differently than other fats, it's important to use it wisely. Coconut oil is calorie-dense, and excessive consumption can lead to weight gain. It's also high in saturated fat, which, when consumed in excess, can raise LDL cholesterol levels. Using coconut oil in moderation and in place of other oils can be a healthier choice, but it's not a magic bullet. Always consider your overall diet and be mindful of portion sizes. Now, let's talk about aggressive detox diets. Many people are drawn to the idea of cleansing their bodies through intense detox plans or drinks. However, it's important to approach these with caution. Extreme detox diets often involve severe calorie restriction or the exclusion of entire food groups. While they may lead to temporary weight loss, they can also cause nutrient deficiencies and mess with your metabolism. A more balanced approach to detoxing involves staying well hydrated, eating a variety of nutrient-dense foods, and letting your body's natural detoxification systems do their job. Store-bought salad dressings Salads are a go-to choice for a healthy meal, but what about the dressings? Many store-bought salad dressings can undermine the health benefits of your salad. Commercial salad dressings are often loaded with added sugars, unhealthy fats, and preservatives. Even those labeled as low-fat can have added sugars to compensate for taste. Making your own salad dressings at home using olive oil, vinegar, and herbs allows you to control the ingredients and create a healthier option. So, when it comes to salads, don't overlook the importance of a healthy dressing. Our final topic is canned soups. They are often marketed as a convenient and healthy meal option, but the reality can be quite different. Many canned soups are high in sodium, which can lead to high blood pressure and other health issues when consumed regularly. They can also contain additives and preservatives. If you love soup, consider making your own at home using fresh ingredients. This way, you have control over the salt content and can avoid unwanted additives. In conclusion, while canned soups are convenient, they might not always align with your health goals. Homemade alternatives can be a better choice. That concludes our discussion of 12 seemingly healthy foods that can potentially have adverse effects on health. It's crucial to make informed choices and be mindful of portion sizes and ingredient quality. Remember that a balanced and varied diet is key to maintaining good health. Thank you for watching. And remember, your health is your most valuable asset. Stay safe and be well.